Well, as you can see in my background, I have uh, cushions um, coming up in the car with me today. The first uh, first instalment of our new upholstery. Yay! Um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to have fun trying to manoeuvre them up a ladder, but uh, we'll get there. <laughs> um, yeah. Thankfully, the rain is holding off, so uh, we can get on and get our jobs done today. It's times like this, I wish that uh, we were on the water and not having to uh, haul upholstery up out of up our rope from the trolley to get her on board. I am pure delighted with our new upholstery. It looks fabulous! Ah, the guided tour. <laughs> so, that's it. Up close and personal. This is all I could manage to fit into, into the car boot today. Um, but, uh, oh I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Our sofa converted to bed mode. Oh, I am so looking forward to trying this one out um, because my back has been agony sleeping here for years, but um, uh, the foam has just gone too bad. So, uh, yeah, I'm about to test, take off my shoes and test. The ultimate. Oh, lovely, plush. Oh. oh my God, I am in heaven. This is just so comfortable by comparison to our old one. I don't think I'll ever get out of this bed. <laughs> John will just have to learn how to sail all by himself and I'll just stay in bed. There's some fun getting this lot up on deck this morning. <laughs> My new upholstery for the V cabin and the uh, watch berth were not playing nice. They kept sliding off the trolley and uh, I had to concede to uh, getting help and uh, have the scatter cushions and nav desk seat in this bag. Well I managed to manhandle them this far. <sighs> Not a bad view for breakfast on deck. <laughs> Albeit we're in the yard but you know we're getting there. <laughs> we should be long ready to launch in a couple of weeks. Now Tommy I am Devastated, I have to say that um, unfortunately we're a bit short um, about the width of my Galaxy phone, and I just have the the what uh, nav desk seat here, and that's what we're looking at at the moment. I will get templates made up. I just wanted to show you what we are looking at at the moment, and then. A lovely saloon, complete with um, cushions, it's lovely, thank you very much. And then moving into the V cabin, I will show you what we have here. So the keystone, as you can see, Is not where it should be and then the other big gaps are up through here we have a small area that needs tighten well I could probably live without that but like um, you can see what I mean now I just need to get up the step and as you can see I can see down into the locker underneath the sail locker and um, 
we are quite shy of length here. And as I said, I will get the, the templates and measurements for you, but just to let you know. Okay, sorry. day another project and it stays like today that I'm glad that I'm a bit of a hoarder because um, in my trusty sewing kit I have an old strap of webbing that came off a, um, a set of pajamas um, that it was bound up in when I bought it and um, I held on to it because I figured well you never know when something like that might come in handy and Lo and behold. So, today's project is on our sail bag. And I've done an inspection, and the only areas that need attention are these little areas that have frayed. Because this zip is a bit, as you can see, a bit on the long side, and it flaps around in the wind. So, what I plan to do is do a glue and stitch and wrap around these frayed areas to protect from it getting any worse. Now up here I have a slightly larger section that I may or may not be able to do exactly the same there because it is a wider fray. So um, what I'm doing is I will wrap over this edge and have another one on this side and wrap around. So it will be doubly reinforced. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that's my plan of campaign. And um, I ran in it past my father who is also a, um, a genius when it comes to fabric projects and sewing machines and all that sort of thing. So um, yeah, happy days. Webbing is the way to go. And uh, I will be keeping a lot more scraps of fabric like this. A little bit of Velcro on the end um, because they come in handy. Um, I have another one out on our uh, parasol for the garden furniture. So, um, yeah, you never know when something's going to be useful. Anyway, I shall crack on. Okay, so I have all my webbing patches glued in place. And as you can see, around the sides. Now, next job is stitching to make sure that they stay exactly where I want them. And um, as you can see, I was saying earlier about having this bit. Okay, yes, it is a little bit proud of the edge, but um, I'll get that bent over and stitched into position. So uh, no more fraying. And I always manage to get myself covered in super glue. I don't know how I manage it. I do my best to uh, keep my hands out of the way, but no. <laughs> my fingers are just destroyed. Anyway, um, I will 
get on with the stitching and uh, I'll be hand stitching this on so um, John is well impressed that I have managed to uh, fix the zip because he thought it would have to be replaced. My um, my thimble has gone missing out of my sewing kit, so uh, I had to get into my splicing kit to get the sailor's palm. Um, and uh, the reason why is with the the, um, the super glue. I've made the material very stiff. Ouch. And it is just a little bit harder to get through as a result. Makes life a little bit more interesting. Ah! <laughs> I've managed to knot myself up somehow. As you can see, I am not a skilled um, seamstress. And, um, yeah, what are you like? Ah, oh, Eva. Seriously, like. Thankfully, that's the end of that way section anyway so I was about to knot off the end of the line so yeah so that is job done on that section job finished not the neatest of um, stitching but uh, if it holds the patches where they need to be, then I'm happy.